Hey guys, it's Way here. Welcome back to another video and today I'm going to be sharing a few tips and tricks with you guys helping you prepare for team of the season. The promo starts on Friday with the most consistent and from then on we're going to have over a month of consistent content. Every single week there's going to be a new team of the season squad, loads of big players, the market's going to crash massively and you guys need to be prepared. You need to go into the promo liquid and that means having the majority of the equity in your club in the form of coins rather than players. And that's going to allow you to get the best out of what is probably the best promo of the year. You'll be able to open loads of packs, do SBCs and try out some of the amazing new blue cards. So we're going to start off just by looking at my transfer list. I want to show you guys some of the players I'm selling here. You may be surprised. Dutch cards, for example, are going for loads right now. It's because of a weekly objective. You need to score with Dutch players in rivals to get a foot swap player. So Dutch players are really expensive right now. So if you have any, make sure you sell them. Depay, for example, is extinct at 10k. And what I've just been doing is looking through my club for random players um, and just checking the price of every card in my club. And loads of them are going for just a really surprising amount of coins. And I wouldn't really know about that if I hadn't checked. I'm also selling fitness cards. There's only two here, but that's because I've sold a lot more. They're the only ones that hadn't sold. The only cards I'm really keeping are SBC cards. Not the actual, obviously, like cards you get from an SBC, but cards that are useful for SBCs. So 85s, 84s, and 83s. And that's just because they have no real value right now because there aren't many SBCs requiring them. I'm hoping we're going to have like guaranteed Team of the Season SBCs, maybe guaranteed Team of the Week SBCs as well. And with those, these cards will rise up in price. So these are the only cards that I'm really keeping. And these are all duplicates of just cards that I've already packed, um, that I already have in my club. So they're the only cards I'm really kind of recommending to you guys to keep, the cards that have any value. If you look at my club right now, I've got just some random like discard price informs that I've packed over the past week or two from doing the League SBC grind. So these cards there, again, they have no real value right now just because there's there's not much demand for them. But hopefully there'll be SBCs that require these um, uh, in in not too long and they'll go up a little bit in value. The only expensive player I have is David De Gea simply because he's packable and I use him in my main team. Um, I did actually originally sell him, um, but then I packed him again and I thought why not keep him because it's quite cool. Now that I have a full first owner squad, he fits in there. But apart from that, the only other cards that I have in my club of any value are cards that will be useful for SBCs um, when they are released. So I think we're, we're almost definitely going to have guaranteed Team of the Season SBCs. And these cards, they will go up massively in value when they are released. And right now, they really don't have much value at all. A lot of these are going for like 1 or 2k. Um, I've got 82s, I've got 81s, I've got these types of cards there, and the only reason I have these is because of League SBCs. Currently I'm completing so many League SBCs, every day I'm probably completing another one or two, doing the big leagues like La Liga and the Premier League, and the minor leagues, getting all of them done and getting loads of packs together and making a lot of coins from that. And if you guys are doing the same thing, I really would recommend it. The League SBC farming method is so effective. I've done a few videos on it. I'll leave links down below to all of them, and you can go and check them out if you aren't fully aware of what it is. But that's what all these cards here are for. I'm just constantly using them. They're all packed board, um, and they just get um, rinsed through those SPCs again and again and again, and make me lots of coins. But if you guys aren't doing the League SBC farming method, you should just sell all the cards you have in your club. Any players like this, just look through and sell them. So someone like Aaron Ramsey, I'm keeping him because I will use him in the SBC for Arsenal. But he goes for like one and a half K or so. So if you had that card, it's, it's definitely best to sell them. Same with Koscielny, he's like 2K or so. So you could be sat on a lot of value just with random kind of non-rares and everything. So it's really important that you guys go through and just check the prices of all these subs of players um, and sell them on if you're not doing the league SBC farming method. If you are, then I'd recommend keeping these cards because they'll be really, really useful um, and will allow you to do all the SBCs a lot easier. And that's basically just how you do the method because you'll have packed a lot of players. So if you are doing the League SBC farming method, continue doing it because you'll make a lot of coins ready for Team of the Season and packs as well. If you want to save your packs, you can do that. Uh, although I'm personally opening them just to, to make more coins to get into the promo so I can buy some big players. Um, however, if, as I said, if you guys aren't doing the League SBC farming method, if you just don't have the time or aren't really committed to it, then just random cards like this, sell them all because you'll be able to get a, a good couple of thousand coins for a lot of them. Um, that you wouldn't really have if you just had them sat in your club, obviously. Now, as well as players right here, you want to also look at consumables, um, and it's crazy. I literally just realized, like, earlier on today, how many fitness cards I have. 
These go for a thousand coins each, so I'm sat on 220k of squad fitness guys, and I'm just cycling through these, trying to sell as many as possible before team of the season starts. I'm just listing them all for a thousand coins, and with the weekend league currently going on, it's perfect timing. These will sell very, very easily. So I'm sat on loads of these. I mean, even just the the regular player fitness cards, not the squad fitnesses, they sell for 200 coins if you're patient. And I've got 723 of them. So you guys do the math. 723 times 200. That has a lot of, uh, of potential value there that I'm sat on. And uh, I'm never really going to use all of those. So it's best to just sell cards like this. Keep a few, obviously, so you can, you can still use, use your team. But you can sell a good like 75% or so of your fitness cards and get so many coins back that you just wouldn't really know about. I mean, I, I didn't think I had this many and it was only a couple of days ago that I checked and saw I had literally hundreds and hundreds of these cards. And I can sell them and get loads of coins back. So that's a cool tip there. Definitely check that. You could be sat on literally like millions of coins of those. Um, these player attribute cards as well, they go for a load. I mean, I'm not entirely sure why because you can't even use these in foot champs so if you're like trying to get a competitive edge it's in something like division rivals where you don't really need that anyway but these cards go for like nearly three thousand coins and then position change cards too lots of these just randomly go for a ton of coins like look at this cam to center forward is like 4k so i'm going to sell that now um, I mean, I, I tend to keep a lot of these just because they're useful when you're doing league SBC farming um, to do some SBCs like Huesca, for example, a little bit cheaper. Um, but some of these position changes are extinct even. Um, I'm not sure which one it is. I think it's like centre forward to cam, um, but that goes for loads. But as you can see, loads of these are going for several thousand coins. So again, check your club. And if you haven't throughout the year, you'll probably have a lot of these already here, which you can sell on and make an absolute ton of coins from. Uh, these healing cards as well also sell for a couple of hundred coins. And then chemistry stars too. Hawk and Anchor are nearly a thousand coins or so. I think Anchor's about a thousand, Hawk is like six hundred or so. And then you've got Hunter Catalyst and Shadow too. They're really, really valuable. Look at this, we've got some Hunter Chemistry stars here. And uh, they're going for about 4.5k. So again, you could easily have like 10 of these in your club if you haven't checked throughout the year. And that's so many coins that you could just be sat on without really knowing about anchor camera style here that's like what eight nine hundred coins and given that i'm not buying anyone new for my squad for now i don't need these camera stars earlier on in the game when i was constantly kind of getting new players trying them out i need these but nowadays like, i've got a good team um or a very good team and uh, it's not like i'm needing to apply new camera styles to them they've had the same camera styles for hundreds of games so these are basically just pointless i mean i might keep a few because going going into team of the season I'll be trying out new players and packing new players too, so they'll be useful for some of them, but on the whole, like, I'm not going to need about 90% of these cards, so I can just sell them and uh, and get the coins together. So that's definitely something I'd recommend. Shadow as well goes for loads of coins, pretty similar. It's about about 4k here. I mean, they go for more when there's like new cards, so team of the season, you'll see these cards go up in price because people will be buying them for the new cards they've got. Same when rewards come out, you see these cards rise up a little bit in price because people might get new players from foot champs and want to want to try them out and use camera styles. So check camera styles, definitely, definitely would recommend that. Club items as well, you can just go through and quick sell loads of these. Like they go for about 50 coins, all the rare ones, um, which may not seem like much, but a lot of you will have literally hundreds of these cards. So if you quick sell all of those, you're making thousands and thousands of coins back. And some of the cool ones and ones from big clubs also seem to sometimes sell for like two or 300 coins. And if you look at the silvers too, check the silvers um, with your club items. Like you might have some cool badges or kits and sometimes they go for like 5k or so. I don't think any of these are particularly valuable. I didn't mean to send that over there. But like, how about this? It's got a devil on America de Cali there. That's like a, a 700 coin, um, uh, like just random badge there. I'm gonna put that as my, my current one because that's fairly cool. Um, but if you look at like kits as well, the silvers are the really expensive ones. Like uh, some of these kits here that just kind of look a bit random. That's like what? 800 coins we can probably sell that for so list that up uh, this alna circuit i've seen go for loads um i packed it in a bronze bag but yeah currently going for probably about 1.6k i could get that could sell that one for um this philadelphia kit is fairly cool as well i think um and there's one there listed for 200 but the next was like 900 this kit's quite cool again didn't mean to send it over to my transfer list um, but you guys get the idea like you could have random kits there 
that go for a fair amount. It's mainly the silvers that seem to go for a lot just because they're a little bit rarer. Um, check the bronzes as well, although I don't really think there are many cool bronze kits and uh, the same with badges. Stadiums don't really seem to sell for anything, um, but you can always just uh, just check. A few of them will, and if not, you can just quick sell them anyway and get yourself that 56 coins back. Um, and yeah, like just always check all of these. Some of them, especially like Wembley or like Anfield or the Etihad or the New Camp, some of those stadiums go for lots. I'm actually going to make the Signal Aduna, Aduna Park my, my current one just because I went there last month and it was really impressive. So I wouldn't mind having them as my actual ground. Uh, cool having the yellow wall um, on Ultimate Team. Balls don't really sell for anything, but you can quick sell some of them if they are tradable for like 36 coins or so. Again, it might not seem like much, but you can get like 5k back from quick selling all of them. And then you've also got like the staff as well. Um, these go for, in some cases, loads of coins. Like I think Dutch managers are like 2.5k. You can sell lots of these for like four or 500. And you can even quick sell these types of things for 250. So not just managers, but if you look at like random physio coaches, for example. I have loads of these and they all quick sell for 250 or, or just under 240 coins. So four of those, that's a thousand coins. So right here, um, just looking at physio coaches, we've got like three or four K of them. Fitness coaches, we've got about two K. Goalkeeper coaches, about two K. Head coaches, about two K. Um, so that I'm sat on like 10 K just of random stuff as well. So other cards you can quick sell very easily and get some coins back for. And also when it comes to players, check just everything. Don't just look at the golds and the expensive cards. Look for silvers and you'll find so many expensive silvers, especially if you look at certain leagues. Like I'm doing the league SBC farming method right now, so I use all these types of cards. But if you're not doing it, just go and check the prices of cards. Like look at this, Peters, I know he goes for quite a lot like 6k or so, I'm going to sell them because I'm not doing the league on much at the moment because it's not particularly profitable. Um, so these types of guys that you can just sell on now and you can get a really, really good amounts of coins back for a lot of these players. Um, and as I said, if you're not using the league SBC farming method, these guys are going to be fairly irrelevant to you and they're not really going to be helping you out. So if you just sell them on, you're getting a ton of coins back um, that you wouldn't really have otherwise. I mean, you just have pointless cards in your club and loads of you wouldn't have checked this. Like, now is the perfect time because you can just fully clear out your club so that you have literally just the bare bones of what you need. You just have coins and maybe a couple of usable players. But going into Steam of the Season, you don't want to be sat on like hundreds of players in your club. You want to just have lots of coins. It's the best possible situation to be in because it means you can just go and buy whatever players you want. Um, you can do SBCs and you don't have to worry about players dropping in price because that's the main thing with Team of the Season. It's such a big market crash, the market never recovers. So if you have like Cristiano Ronaldo in your club, um, you might have bought him for like, I don't know, um, let's say 1.2 million coins. What is he now? Um, I think he's about, he's, well, he's really cheap. I think he's like 950k or so now. Um, and he's probably going to go down to like 700, maybe lower, during Team of the Season. Like if you guys just sell a card like that, um, now you've got the coins and you'll be able to buy the card back cheaper during Team of the Season if you want. Like You can get someone like Ronaldo for a much better price or whatever high-end card you happen to have. If you sell them now, um, you'll be able to buy them back at a better price during Team of the Season. Um, but also just selling all these types of cards here. Like, it may not seem like much individually, but when you're selling like loads and loads, probably hundreds of these random cards there, whether that be silvers or consumables or like coaches and kits, it all adds up and you could easily end up getting yourself like a couple of blue cards or open some packs or if you have enough of these cards, like if you've opened loads of packs this year, um, you could easily be sat on like enough coins to maybe get yourself like an icon or Cristiano Ronaldo or get yourself um, like half the way towards completing an icon SPC. So selling all these types of random cards in your club is really, really good and uh, it's something a lot of you guys just may not have been entirely aware of. Like obviously you'll all know you've probably got players in your club, but a lot of you may, may have just forgotten and may have forgotten to check. It's something that people do every now and again, they check their club, see what they've got. Um, but sometimes like you never know, you could have really expensive players. La Liga has some really expensive ones. Like if you have Huesca players, some of them are like 15k. Same with Real Vallecano, same with Utrecht. There are some teams that have really, really expensive players. It's crazy. Um, like I think it's about 85k to do the Huesca SBC from scratch because of the silver players they have. 
Um, so if you're lucky enough to have some of them in your club and you're not, not doing those league SBCs, which I would recommend, but it's not for everyone because it does take some time. If you don't have those types of cards in your club, then you can, you can just... Um, no, I mean, if you do have those cards in your club, you can just sell them on. Simple as that, and you can get loads and loads of coins back. It's crazy, and like a lot of you guys may not have known that. You may have just thought they were random, kind of irrelevant silvers. But if you sell them, you can make so many coins. Like, look here, we've already sold a fair few of these cards um, for a nice amount. And I have so many more things to sell on. Like, I'm still clearing out my club, and I've got thousands more items to sell. This is the current team I'm sat with as well. It's untradeable, apart from David De Gea. That's another tip. For the moment, just go with an untradeable team, uh, at least until we're like a week or two into team of the season. Then you can buy back your team at a better price, um, and you can then compete in foot champs to hopefully get um, some guaranteed team of the season packs. That's what I'm hoping. Hopefully, blue cards are going to be in rewards um, because team of the season um, or well, team of the week rather is going to be fairly dead because all the major leagues will have ended or will be close to ending. The Premier League will have ended by the time team of the season's out, for example. So we're not really going to have that good packs from rewards. So hopefully we're going to have some, some team of the seasons in there. And then you can get back into playing foot champs and getting the rewards. But for now, I'd recommend just selling your team. Hopefully, when you're watching this, you'll have already sold your team. I've been saying to sell your team now for months and prices have dropped down massively. So hopefully you've sold your team. Hopefully you're ready for team of the season. Hopefully these tips have helped you out. Just try and get into the promo liquid with as many coins as possible and you'll be good to go. But anyway, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Leave a like, subscribe if you're on your own here and I'll catch you later. Take care.